before you throw your phones at me, I can explain. <laughs> say it's been a really long time they usually mean a couple of months but in my case it's been a really long time <laughs> but hey what can I do life happened okay if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is Ola I run a blog called roll to fashionable if you've been here before well kudos to you man it's been a really long time I have been busy I did a little bit of travel nursing I went places I finished a course in fashion design so that took some time too and then I met a man and then I got married and yeah time just happened to fly by but for my very first video bag in a long time I decided to feature one of my favorite maybe my favorite clothing item which are dresses I love dresses maxi dress mini dress flowy dresses casual dresses t-shirt dresses I love it what's not to love a dress is an outfit in one piece so I figured I would show you guys my top 10 dresses for summer of 2020 before it was canceled disclaimer a lot of these dresses are not new some are new some are not Another disclaimer, some of these dresses I made myself. If you follow my blog, then you know that I know how to make clothes. I sew. I'm pretty good at it, actually. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. I mean, I took a lot of classes. Some of the dresses I made myself. So I think I'm featuring two of the dresses that I made myself. A dress should be number one on a lazy lady's chit guide. I hope you check out this video. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope if you like what you see, you hit your subscribe button. We're going to start with basics and then work our way up to like the more dressy outfits or the more dressy dresses. First, I am going to start with this dress. This is a basic t-shirt dress from ASOS. I got this a few weeks ago actually. It is in a size US 18. I got like one size bigger. I usually will fit into like a size 16, but I got an 18 because I wanted to have a little loose of a fit. I didn't want it to be fitted at all because most dresses or most t-shirt dresses tend to be very snug, which I did not want. This dress is actually cut free. You'll see when I try it on, but actually it's actually cut really free. It flares out a little bit so it's not tight. One thing I love about this dress, it is shapewear free. You do not need to wear a shapewear to wear this dress. You just need to wear some bike shorts underneath or whatever it is you wear underneath your dresses and you are good to go. The length is also an interesting thing. It's actually like a meaty kind of length, which I was not expecting, but I love that also. I don't have to worry about my thighs showing or if you don't really feel like showing off a lot of skin, this is a really good basic dress. I wear when I'm going to run errands. I usually wear it casual, but you can definitely dress it up with heels. I usually wear it with my sneakers. In this case, I'm wearing it with my Nikes. It's a plain all white sneaker, always a classic look. And then I'm pairing this with my bum bag. I caved into the bum bag trend. It's my Louis Vuitton bum bag and I love it. And this is a good look, but definitely switch out the bag or switch out the sneakers for some heels and you've got a whole different look. This dress from H&M. It is a floral print. It's a baby doll dress. It's a really loose, flowy, beautiful dress. It's like a mid axi length. You'll see a trend here, guys. No shapewear required. I, I love shapewear. I like to look snatched when I have to or when I want to. But on casual days where you're just running errands or going out with friends or just hanging out with your spouse or whatever you're doing, you kind of don't want to be snatched. You want to be free and you want to move around and still look good doing it. Usually baby doll dresses come in like a minute length, but this is actually different. It goes all the way up to almost your feet. If you're short, I am 5'7"-ish. If you're shorter than I am, then this is definitely a maxi dress for you. I tend to like my maxi dresses brace in the floor. So for me, this is a middle length. I love the print, I love the palm print. It's a very good vacation dress. You can tie up these strings in the front if you want to. I kind of leave mine just hanging out. Um, I got this in the XL and this dress is cut really big. So if you wear like the US 20 or US 22, this will definitely fit you, which is very surprising for me. So. Shopping at H&M is actually a new experience for me. I always figured that their clothes would be cut small, like Zara for example. I can't even fit into a Zara XXL. So imagine my surprise 
when I fit very comfortably in an H&M XL. So guys, if you've been slipping on H&M, not even the plus size section, because the plus size section, they have their moments. They have never killed it. Like, I've never been to the H&M plus size section and like, <laughs> that is beautiful. No, it's never happened. But the straight section, they're always killing it. So usually I like to wear this dress with like simple slides or just a simple sandal. I really don't wear it with heels all that much. I've worn it a few times already and I only got it like a week or so ago. And I just put a big white belt over it just to kind of cinch in the waist a little bit but you can definitely leave this free flow and I have. It's gorgeous either way. Just for something different. So I like this as a casual dress. This is my favorite dress number two for summer. Next up is this dark beauty. That's why I call this dress. <laughs> this is a DIY project that I made a few months ago. This is a fit and flare dress, which I made. I used the pattern for the bodice only, and then just freehanded the skirt and then the sleeves. I love this dress. I was actually supposed to wear this to a wedding this summer, but of course that was canceled. So I cannot, definitely cannot wait to wear this dress. And I paired that with just a simple um, silver clutch and bold statement earrings. This is exactly how I was gonna wear it to the wedding. right here has to be one of my favorite it'll it'll be definitely be my top three favorite purchases of summer this year I love this dress see it's brand new I just picked it up last week this is from H&M it is a dress it's actually a true shirt dress or it's a button-down dress so it buttons all the way down in the front and what I loved about it is I can actually double this up as a jacket also so I love to wear like kimono jackets over like jeans and a t-shirt this I've already tried it it looks really great it comes with a belt a detachable belt which I love and it's made out of this like very silky material I think it's polyester but it feels kind of like silk like true silk but it's, for the price it's probably definitely polyester let me just check yep 100% polyester can't blame them though it's a pretty good solid film poly material it's great I got this in a double XL only because I like to have a looser fit especially if I'm going to be wearing this as a jacket as well or like a little duster I like to have a looser fit it has this like dolman sleeves I think that's what it is and it's just free cut but here I am just pairing it for like a simple day at work with some nude heels and my belt bag which is also like a nude color as well so this is a beautiful dress it is definitely a dress that you can wear to like work and then wear to drinks later on it's very sexy but still demure not like showing all the skin in the world and it's very comfortable I love this dress for that reason oh another thing I love this dress for shapewear free you do not have to wear shapewear with this dress you can just wear a simple bike short underneath like i always do and call it a day guys guys this dress this dress i that is exactly how this dress makes me feel speechless i love oh my god it is beautiful it's like a satin material slingy you know the satin satin is in right now we all know this satin dresses satin skirts they're in right now, but this is like a twist on the basic satin dress. It has pearls as buttons, and the pearls are like studded with little crystals. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I, 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 it's beautiful. It has this draped detail, so when you wear it, it kind of like consoles your stomach. If you have one, I do, and I don't like to show it. I like to conceal it. No hate, but yeah, this dress does that. I definitely wore a shaper with this dress just because I wanted to have like a slick look, but I could definitely have skipped the shaper with this. It is so beautiful. And I actually got it on sale. This is from ASOS, by the way. I'm rambling about it and I haven't even told you where I got it from. It is still new. Tags attached because I can't go anywhere. So I got this from ASOS. It's from the Unique 21 line. And I got this in the US 18, which is a perfect fit. Perfect fit. It doesn't have any zip opening or anything. It's just a pull on over your head. It has this adjustable spaghetti straps which is very handy because I don't I don't like a whole lot of boobage showing anymore I also like the fact that it drapes so it kind of like has like a little high low detail it is just gorgeous honestly it's a beautiful dress if it's still available and you need like a little black piece in your collection consider getting this dress guys really I love it here I'm just pairing it with this Calvin Klein jacket it's a linen blazer that I actually picked up 
a while ago. I got a little oversized, I think. I got it in a size 20 wide. 20 size is 6 and 18. But I got this jacket in a 20 wide. It is gorgeous. It is perfect. Perfect for draping, perfect for wearing. I usually wear it with like little black dress underneath. It's a great color. I have to be careful not to wear it too much because I don't want to stain it and ruin it. And you know, plus size blazer, like blazers that fit like this as a plus size woman, they are not easy to find. So when you run into them, definitely stack up. I love blazers. I think I'm going to film my blazer collection one day soon. But I absolutely love blazers. Blazers are... I've been wearing blazers forever. And I don't see myself ever stopping. Ever. So I pair this with like my silver eels from Amazon. I think. Those hills, girl, they are fragile. But I have wanted to a party. I just had to like be taking baby steps. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was afraid the hill was gonna break on me. I think they're actually a dupe of some famous brand I don't know what brand it is right now, but hey since the famous brand doesn't make it in my size Well Amazon does so I got it from Amazon and I'm actually wearing this dress with one of my wedding purses This is one of the purses that I wore on my wedding day. I had a typical cultural Nigerian wedding so we had the whole traditional outfits and of course, you know, if you're wearing all that lace, all that glitter, all that bling bling, the purse, you gotta come through with the purse. The purse has to be down. It has to be bling all day, every day. So I think I got this from Amazon. No, I got it from AliExpress, actually. They have some really good stuff. It was pretty expensive for AliExpress, but then definitely nothing compared to like a Swarovski crystal purse or something like that. It was definitely affordable for what you were getting. And of course, some statement earrings. It's gorgeous. This dress, it is my little sexy killer number for 2020 all right so when we talk about clothing items that give you longevity this dress right here is an example of what I'm talking about I got this dress about maybe two or three years ago from ASOS and it was a statement piece at that time and it still is a statement piece right now but even when you're participating in trends there's some trends that are going to last a long time statement sleeves are in in this color i don't think it'll ever go out of fashion for me for my closet i love bold colors solid lime green it's not going anywhere i will wear this three years from now I'll wear this five years from now this dress is from asos i like i said i got it about two three years ago I think I got this dress in a size 16. It has these double slits in the front. They're kind of cut up really high for me. I usually don't, I usually don't, but it's very flare, so it's not tight and the slits are not so prominent, which I really love. It also has these flutter cold shoulder sleeve details. I love this dress. You can definitely dress this up and dress it down. I've worn this with flats. Like I said, I wore it to a birthday party at a park. I wore it with flats, it looked great with like some statement earrings. I wore it with my Payless Hills. It's a Michael Kors bag that I got years and years ago. I love this dress. Definitely makes my top 10 summer dress collections. I am like a kid in a candy store when it comes to H&M. H&M clothes are pretty new to my closet or pretty new to me. I just always felt like, you know, I wouldn't fit them. But to my surprise, here's another one. This is a blue shirt dress. It's like a, like a free caftan kind of dress. A slightly deep V in the neck, like a bishop neck and then the slightly dip V. It is long sleeve, but I just fold up the sleeves if I want to. Another thing about this dress that I love, again, shape or free. I do not have to wear shape over this dress. I love it because it has a high low hem, so it's a little bit, you know, you got a little bit, a eh, little something extra, which is always fun and interesting. The only thing this dress is missing is pockets. I love pockets, girl. I don't even know what I do with the pockets. I just love to know that I have them, you know, for my phone or my keys or just my hands, whatever. It's, you know, when you're posing for pictures, it looks really, really cute. I got this dress in the XL and it's cut really loose. Again, if you're a size US 1820, you can fit in this. So give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm so glad I tried HM Closes because um, I had written them off, honestly. Anyway, I am pairing this with my heels that I got this summer when Nine West was having a sale. These are like the, you know, the slide, the square toe slides that are in right now, and I really love them. And I'm pairing that with my old Henry Bendel bag. Who remembers Henry Bendel? Oh, I loved Henry Bendel. I was so sad when they closed up. Oh, oh, girl, this bag is sad. It has pen marks over it, because now it has all these things that I can't seem to get off. If anybody has recommendations for like a good letter cleaner, Please, please recommend me some. I really need it because I love this bag. I don't want to have to give it up. It's old and 
It has personality. That's the nice way of saying it when something is old, right? <laughs> it has personality. All right, well, I'm pairing that with this dress just to keep on with the blue theme, um, which I really like. It definitely, definitely makes my top 10 favorite dresses right now. This dress right here. If you follow my blog, you've definitely seen me style this dress. Well, I made this dress like about a year, I wanna say a year and a half ago, but this dress is heavy. Very heavy, just holding it up, my hands are hurting. Well, I think the mistake I made is I, well, no, I know the mistake I made is like completely lined it with the same fabric. So it's very full, very flattering, which I love. It's fitted at the top. It's a dress that I am so glad I have in my closet because there are times where I've been invited to an event and I had nothing to wear. I just pull this up and I'm good to go. It's a favorite. I am wearing this with just basic, my basic Kayla sandals as well and the old Gucci bag that I have in my collection. It's beautiful, the whole back is solid yellow and then the front has this little pip of floral detail on one side and it is a full wrap, so it wraps like all the way up. It's, it's gorgeous, it's a beautiful dress. But as heavy as it is, it definitely makes my top 10 collection. I absolutely love this dress. I know we've all heard this before, that every woman needs a rack dress in her collection. Well, it is true. I got from Nostrum Rack, it is on a 1X. It's a pretty snug fit for me, which I really love. Like with wrap dresses, you can get away with that. They are flattering. You can wear a little tank top underneath if you work in a corporate environment and you don't want to show too much boobit. I'm picking out the yellow tones in it and I'm wearing it with like a yellow suede pump just to complete the whole corporate look. But you can definitely wear this like gem it up, wear it with some silver or some gold heels. I picked this dress up for a still. I think I only paid what, 10 bucks or so, which I love, I love Nostrum Rack. But this dress is like 10 bucks. I mean, look at this. Wouldn't you get this like for $10? Heck yes. I have to throw in a wrap dress in here because every plus size woman needs a wrap dress. This dress I saved, maybe not the best, but definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> they are all my favorites, I know. Because I have waited a long time to be able to get something like this. A tuxedo dress. I mean, all the ones before this that I had seen, they were just very cheaply made. Nothing ever really spoke to me, even though I knew I wanted a tuxedo dress in my collection. But this dress, this dress came and blew my mind, okay? This is a tuxedo double-breasted, all right? Double-breasted tuxedo dress from Eloqui. I got this two sizes bigger. I got this in a size US 22. I did that purposely for a reason. I wanted it to have a loose fit. I didn't want it to be tight at all. I wanted the buttons to be relaxed, not look as though they were too tight. And I achieved that with this dress. And also, look at this color, guys. This color is gorgeous. It's like a bold, bright pink. Just beautiful. And the fabric is so luxurious. It's soft. So it's not flimsy at all. It's completely lined. It's just gorgeous. And I'm so glad I waited and I got this dress. I don't remember how much I got it for, but Eloqui is always having sales. I love Eloqui. I love them. I've worked with the brand before. They look out for us, okay? They have sales. So don't don't pay full price for Eloqui stuff. Don't, don't do it. I talked so much I didn't even tell you what I was wearing with this. Anyway, I am wearing this with the same silver shoes from Amazon. I'm also wearing it with my mini flat bag which is just a classic look just for a little bit of contrast. That concludes this video, my top 10 dresses for summer 2020. If you stuck around till the end, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Also, please leave a comment down below and let me know which of these dresses do you like, which of them would you wear, how would you wear it. Also, what are some of your favorite dresses? What kind of dresses do you like to wear during the summer? Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.